page 46 of your agenda. Uh, my submission today, um, if you've got a pen and paper, I wish you write down two things on the paper in front of you. One is a request for rubbish pickup um, down Newell's Road, and the second one is about the district plan being opened and changing the rural designation of Newell's Road to residential. So now that you've written that down, I'm going to speak to those two points. What I'm asking for is I would like to have a meeting with the um, with the T Rail Community Board. Um, so, councillor, if you could organise that, I wish to address them in relationship to this. Um, with regards to the three councillors from the ward of Patararu, I would like to have a meeting with you um, at a separate time. And of the six in the ward of uh, Tokoroa, I would like to speak with the two officers of the court, which is Marin and um, also um, Arama, plus Councillor Dane, plus Councillor there. The other two councillors, um, Machum and uh, Lee, it gives a bit of independence, but also with Councillor Machum being Deputy Mayor, so it means it's... So I'd, I've asked that, so I've, you've written those two things down and I'd like to have a meeting after this formal to have a discussion. Okay. So now I'd like to speak to my submission. So just being aware of what happens from now on, I want to have those independent meetings so that this meeting is able to uh, acknowledge that. I'm unhappy with how this document's been put together. There are omissions in this document. I have asked staff on a number of occasions for the PDF of the submissions that council have received from the public. That hasn't been forthcoming, and that means that I'm unable to read what I wrote down in the form that I wrote it down in, and I'm unable to read everybody else's submissions. That is part of the special consultative procedure where the public's able to say something and I'm able to read unfettered and unedited from council or governance, and so I have been denied that. So that's an omission from this process, which I wish to address. I also wish to say that the process that's been adopted has gone through the staff. So they've taken my submission and the other submission, and they've put it into this document. And it's their perception of what the people have said. We have three submitters today out of 48 submissions. So I wanted to make that as a point that you're, as a council, um, are not getting the information in the form that we have submitted it as the public, and the public more, because the council's responsible to the community. And if I can't read the submissions that have come in from other submitters, you have to ask the question, why not? Then you have to ask the question, who made the decision to edit it into a format like this, and who were the editors and what sort of things have been on their minds. So that's the question. Now that then raises the question who in the staff has been responsible for this process. But then you also get the question, is it something that your chairperson also endorses? Is it something that the chairperson has allowed to happen? And then you ask the question, for what reason has the chairperson allowed that to happen? And then you get a third option. Is there a discussion between the chairperson and the person who employs the 140 staff? Have they talked together and then created this situation? So you're smiling and I'm asking you to have those meetings because as a person who's a community person, I'm trained academically through university to be the conscience and critic of my community. That's one of the things I must give back from getting a good education. It's in the Education Act. 
So I'm using this opportunity to do that. So there are omissions in this document, and it means if there are omissions in this, you have to ask yourself, are you as councillors being given the correct information on which to base your decisions on? So, my understanding from here under the Special Consultative Procedure is that this document is then, in consultation with you guys, is put back out as a proposal for more submissions to the community. And people who have submitted before on it can have a final say and then you as a council make that decision of what it is. So, I see nowhere in this document where the idea of Newell's Road having rubbish collection and so it's then not put back out to the community to have its feedback on. So that's an admission. So I'm just raising it with you that there are problems with how this document's put together and I'm asking for an audit process to look into how these admissions can or have come about and I'll be able to supply in those meetings that I've requested the information so that you can track to see how that information should have come into this document and it hasn't and you'll be able to see at what level has that information been filtered out and you can ask questions. Very simple questions, an annual plan and a district plan. Very simple questions, rubbish collection and a change of zoning. Why have those been filtered out in this process and at what level, and who and what has been behind it. And as elected members, I'm asking you to do that individually. I understand you are bound by a corporate decision, but you as an individual represent, and you actually have the ability to access in central government and at a wider level, help to do that. But I'm not very happy as a submitter and representing other submitters that are out there who are finding this process, which has been going on since 2002 under the Local Government Act 2002 for a number of years, and I feel it's time that we correct how it's supposed to be. There are a lot of people disenfranchised in our community for the very fact with what I've just brought up. Persons should be able to make a submission and read what other people submit they should be able to make a submission and not have their information filtered out by staff. They should be able to make a submission and feel comfortable to be able to give 10 minutes presentation here. So I'm taking that step. So I appreciate you wrote, writing down those two things and I appreciate elected members coming to me after this and we'll have that discussion through the, the three wards and then we'll progress from there. So that's a red flag that I'm raising to you as part of the process that this document is incomplete. And I would like to see a PDF copy of all submissions, including my one, emailed to me so that I can have a look at it. And so available for all of the other public members to have a look at. I've asked for it and when I was given the link to this, it wasn't there. And I've asked for it two times beforehand and I've been ignored. So at very many levels, systemic levels, there is something going on, and I'm asking you as elected members just to be wary that this document is not a complete document, and the process is not what I would call true and proper, and I'm asking you to have a look into that so next year we get a much better system. That's all I have to say. Thank you, Mr Young. Are there any questions or comments? First of all, I would like to start um, thank you, Mr. Young, for your um, your submission, and um, I'm not thanking you for your comments because I think you've got a bit of a conspiracy theory happening there. You have not been denied any um, any submissions at all. I've got an email in front of me sent to you on the 5th of June that says, "Hi, Rod. Hi, Rod. Please find the meeting agendas PDF on our website here. You've got the website there." Hard copies will be available at the meeting in the public gallery area. Now we as a council are trying to go paper free, so um, and, but we have directed you, that's why we've only got the hard copies at the meeting, we directed you to the PDF on the website, so that's number one. Number two, 
The submissions have not been edited or filtered. The sub all your submission that you sent in, all that your comments and words are in here. I want to um, ask you about your submission about Newell Road that you're wanting to have the meetings about. You wrote a comment in a Newell Road news which I received because I'm a resident of Newell Road. It was a Newell Road news. It wasn't a submission to the annual plan. Is that what you're referring to that should be a submission? Can I invoke my 10 minutes and take a seat? Because this is outside the scope of my presentation. Thank you, Mr Young. Is the 10 minutes? There's 8.55. So you don't want to continue? You don't want any, any further questions? Um, and you won't respond to that question? No, I just, as I said, the process is set up and so I just appreciate your comments, but if you want to carry on making some more, I'm quite happy to listen I to I just them. want to assure you that there has been no tampering at all of any of the submissions. Are there any other? Yes. Councillor Shorter? Um, Mr Young, if you want to talk to the community board, you're most welcome to come to the community board meeting and we have the open forum, you can tell the community board whatever you want. It's a little bit different because you're an ex officio member on that, my understanding. And I understand by right the Mayor's not able to come to that meeting but can be invited, in my understanding of the community board rules. I'm asking you as an elected member to invite the, and facilitate the specific meeting rather than dilute it down. There is a specific item on the agenda to meet Mr Young and to talk about the admissions on the annual plan. So I put it back to you if you could organise that and we'll liaise after this meeting. You can talk to, to after the, the community board meeting, you can talk to them as much as you want, uh, Mr Young. That's all I'm, I'm saying to you. There, there won't be a, a uh, you know, community board members have jobs, they, they... I'm interested that you're at that meeting as well. That's what I'm saying. You plus the community board yeah, members. Yeah, that's fine. They will be there. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Mm, your Worship. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Councillor Mason. Yes. Uh, Mr. Young wants to organise meetings with private individuals. That's his business. Nothing to do with this group here at the moment. I have said before to Mr. Young that I consider him, as a great many other people do, to be a waste of space and a waste of good time. Could you please Thank resign you immediately and Thank you very leave much, the room? Mr. Young. Thank you, Councillor uh, Anyway, I've asked for your resignation after that comment or an apology. Either one, but it's on your... Are there any other questions? Watch. Otherwise, Councillor Napo Lipscomb. Um, I just wanted to make it absolutely clear that I receive an unedited version of every single submission. Okay. I want to make this perfectly clear. The document that... Mr. Young is referring to is only one of the two documents that councillors have received. Correct? Yes. And so... I don't know what do you no, no, that's right. You carry on. You're exactly right. So you... And I haven't been down to check, but do you have both the copies that I received? No, and that's my point. That's one of the omissions. But we do have them available today. Yes, we do. And well, you, maybe you do. Do you have them in front of you? They were not on the website that was given to me. Okay, so they weren't on the website, but do you have no, copies now? I don't. Not those PDF forms. No, no, what, what I'm saying is that, um, that I want to... As a councillor, we received two documents in preparation mm. of the hearing. The first was the report that um, our... our well, Mr. Smith's staff prepared. That is that one? Yes. yes. And then the second document the is, is the oh, submission yeah. document. Yes. Two the documents full, there. Two documents the full, there. Yeah. The full unedited version of what every submitter has put forward. Okay, now I'm clear on that. Sure. Just one point of, point of clarification. The filtering that um, Mr. Young is referring to is us taking privacy information around people's cell phones, email address and private and private addresses off the submission. They have been redacted, that's all. Okay, so, so that um, where I got seems confused, to be what we're referring to. 